Letitia Chafin, the past president of the West Virginia Bar Association, announced her candidacy for the West Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals Thursday, a day after she announced her campaign in cities across the state. Chafin, a Democrat, held a press conference at the Embassy Suites in Charleston, West Virginia, just a few hours prior to a kickoff reception in her honor. Chafin is a graduate of Marshall University and the West Virginia University College of Law. She practices law with her husband, State Senator H. Truman Chafin, and the couple have three daughters. I believe that seeking a public office is the highest form of public service. I want you to know that throughout the campaign, I will strive to keep the discourse at a level that is respectful of the dignity of the state's highest court, and I will always keep in mind that the court is bigger than any one individual. As an attorney, my strength is in the courtroom trying cases, and I know this extensive litigation experience will serve me well when I'm elected. One of the key issues likely to come up during the campaign will be whether the state needs an intermediate appeals court. The state Supreme Court developed new rules for appellate procedure, including issuing Mirandum decisions if the court chooses not to hear a case. Chafin said the new appellate procedure should be given time to see if they work before the legislature tries to create a new court system. And I know the, rule, the new rules were just enacted December 1st of last year, so I do think we need to step back and allow some time to see how those rules are working. And But I am, as I've represented plaintiffs and defendants, uh, one of the great things about getting out early is I have the opportunity and the time to go talk to um, people around the state and get their opinions on what they think, if there's value to an intermediate appellate court or if they think the rules are working. For West Virginia Watchdog, this is Stephen Allen Adams.